Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus. Welcome, I'm David. This is Warriors of Light Astro Tarot. Doing a special quickie weekend read for the 15th of July here. Love, Romance, and Relationship using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot deck here. Now, on the bottom of the deck, we got the Seven of Swords. Okay. So, man, I, you know, I'm having a hard time seeing that as lying, cheating, and stealing. So, it falls into two broad categories, and the other one is strategic thinking. In love, romance, and relationship readings, usually the strategic thinking is brought on by lying, cheating, stealing, sometimes in the past, you know. So, that's kind of uh, in our heads, you know, I think. Um, so, that could be what's going on. Um, you know, in the past, you've had trouble, um, or, you know, leave me a, a comment, you know, this could be you, because you have here what's blocking you is the two of wands, you know, maybe you're dealing with, uh, maybe you're on a dating site, or maybe you're just dealing with multiple people, you know, but I gotta say, like, if, if that's not you, and if, I'm not saying anything wrong with that, maybe you're not married, maybe you're not in a committed relationship, maybe you're dating, or something like that, you know. Um, but this is your energy around love, romance, and relationship, the Ace of Wands. And in this position, the Ace of Wands is, you know, it's a hard on. So it it's really being um, excited and, you know, um, sexually turned on, a, a magnetic, a kinetic attraction. And But with the blocking being this Two of Wands um, in your blocking position... It's got to be something like, you know, maybe you have this with two people. Maybe a comment. That's kind of, when I first laid them out, you know, one, one, two, my thought here was, you know, this is that dilemma where maybe you have like two people who like are equally turn you on. Like you, most of us go around, we have that one lover that's amazing and uh, we feel like we'll never find that again. And maybe you you have that with two people, you know, um, and that makes it difficult because then now you have judgment here, and it also could be this seven of swords energy. Then, you know, that could be you kind of having to, um, you know, even if you're you know not doing anything wrong and you're just dating two people, you know, I don't know. Most of us we we don't enjoy hearing about the other person in our date, so you know, having to. You know, have one set of conversations for the one partner and one for the other partner type of energy. But with this being the advice from spirit, you see with judgment. Now, that's Pluto too, retrograde 27 uh, Capricorn right now. If that means anything to you, um, could be at play. Um, but, you know, this is being called up to our greater good. Um, you know, it precedes the world. You know, judgment precedes the world. It's 20 major kana. And, you know, it's usually being called up in a way that we don't want to be, you know. Um, when you're called up to your greatest good, it's it's usually being called up to step into something that's uh, difficult, that's challenging, um, that you, you know, might feel like, oh, I'm not ready for that yet. You know, but in this reading, that's what saying is necessary. That's like, in other words, like, do you, do you want to go on in this energy like forever? Because probably not. You know, it's not real fulfilling, that seven of um, swords energy. But you know what is fulfilling <laughs> is the queen of wands. So if there are two people, and this being the outcome, I think this could indicate your person. That would definitely be a fire sign. So think sun, moon, rising in Venus, and Aries, Leo, Sag energy. But also, as someone that's confident, it's someone that would bring out this energy of the Ace of Wands. So, uh, male or female, doesn't matter, you know. But what I see here is that, you know, when you, when you also make the choice to be called up to this Judgment card, it's um, um, you kind of, ideally, you know, going to be about what's for our greatest good, you know. So, you're kind of taking that into account. Um, and when we really heed this call, I think it always kind of moves us into a greater good. So that might be helpful in this decision, you know. Um, 
like you might understand that you know heeding this and making this commitment you know probably to this fire sign most of the readings today have been very very straightforward i think you know um then you know not only are you probably going to be happier um but you'll be in some way aligning yourself with your higher purpose as well guys so let me know what you think of that later appreciate it